Hey everyone, gonna change things up a little today. Today, gonna show you how to change the gear oil in a 2017 CF Moto Z Force 800. Here's the gear oil. We've got the Royal Purple Max Gear 7590. Some tubing to act as a funnel. And we got our Allen key. It is a number eight millimeter Allen key. Now, there's the fill hole, which is just to the passenger side drive shaft. I'm gonna, <coughs> gonna put the phone down here. <coughs> there we go. To loosen that out. I find it's best to take that right out. That's everything. Yeah. That way you have a vent for the to let the air in while you're draining. Now the drain is on the very very bottom right there. And that too is an eight millimeter. See how tightly put this one. There we go. And let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad. Let that completely drain. And I don't see much. Set that there. There's a bit of bit of crud on the the drain plug it is magnetic so it is going to pick up quite a bit the fluid doesn't look bad yeah I'm gonna let that drain for a little bit and then we'll come back and top it up and go from there. A few moments later. Okay, it's all drained. Drain plug back in, snug down, wiped off. While I was gone, I cut a hose to length. Gonna use that for filling up the, the differential. I don't have an actual funnel for it. But this is what's going to work for me. See a helicopter going overhead. some of this oil in. I've read that it says either 300 milliliters or until it overflows. I've always been one to fill the differential until it until it's at the top fill plug.
it would be a lot quicker with the funnel but Yeah, starting to see some come around it now. Pull the hose up, make a big old mess. Until I left the, the drain plug under, or the, the drain pan under. Yeah, she's definitely leaking out. Might put a little too much, but it leveled itself out. So now we put you back, put the fill plug back in. There we go. My extension. Just using a basic six inch extension. Brings the ratchet out outside the frame. Snug that down. Wipe the oil off. And that's the rear. Time for the front. Right, time to start with the front here. Let's see it here. From the bottom, you look straight up under one of the, the skid plates between the frame rails, and there's the drain plug. Very bottom and front differential. The filler. You come in behind the, the front tire on the driver's side. You don't need a, a full six inch extension on this one. But if you look right behind the front CV shaft, there it is right there. Didn't need both hands for this one. All right, she never had been that tight, but it's loose. There's that. Let's see it again. You can see the filler neck. This one's actually quite full. It's leaking up now as it is. But I don't know how long the fluid's been there. Whether it's the original fluid or somebody changed it. So we're going to change it anyway. And then... And like I said, there's where the, the drain is. That was a much better thing. Alright, we have fully drained the front differential here. Put the crush washer back on it. 
and let's tighten that back up. There. I know you didn't see it, but there it is, all snugged back down and wiped off. Alright. Well, we fill it back up. Let's turn the wheels so that way. Gives me a little more room to get in there. Bottle and start filling this. Let's turn the light on here. There we go. It's real hard to see, but but it is almost full. There we go. It's overflowing now. That put the fill plug back in, snug it down, wipe it off. And if you're following along with me as I'm doing it, you can say that. Officially changed your differential fluid in your 2017 CF Moto Z Force 800.